Markets are reaching decision point levels as they continue to digest economic data that comes in and what the potential Fed response will be. Markets were down a little bit earlier today, started up, then down, and now they're flat basically again. So we'll see how they close out. As I always say, you want to see the momentum into the close to kind of engage what the markets are thinking, what investors are thinking. Jamie Dimon says the Fed has lost a little bit of control of inflation. Um, and that's really the big problem is that markets don't believe the Fed. Uh, they don't believe that we're actually going to see inflation continue to stay sticky uh, or avoid a recession. That's kind of what the markets are betting on, or at least half the market seems to think that while the other half is going the other way. So it's very mixed um, opinions out there right now. Nobody really knows what's going to happen uh, other than the fact that inflation is high. Uh, it is sticky. Uh, the jobs market is still very strong. The economy is still very strong. People are still spending a lot of money. The housing market, while it's correcting in some areas, is still pretty strong and overheated in others. So there's a lot of work yet to be done. The Fed recognizes that. So the debate is 50 basis points or 25. The chances and odds of 50 basis points uh, is rising. And once we see the next inflation print, we'll be able to lock that in to determine what the Fed might be doing and thinking. But they've lost control and they've lost credibility. So that's weighing heavily on markets. But, uh, you know, markets are continu continuing to kind of hang in and try to at least put a base in here. But we're getting to the point now to where this is a potential rollover period. We're looking at this level here on the Dow uh, to see if it would breach. Uh, same thing with NASDAQ right at this support level here. And then the S&P uh, has broken this level, but we have this last little level here of support for the S&P coming up. And then of course, the all important December lows before the October lows in all of the markets and the indexes uh, that were, you know, ultimately we'll go back and check if the Fed does raise 50 basis points, we're definitely gonna test those December levels. And then, uh, you know, if they don't hold, then it's back to the October lows. Uh, the VIX taking a little breather here and before it continues, it's March upward. And the Dixie, the dollar, uh, kind of hanging out right here, looking at that 105 level next. The 10-year taking a break after a nice little pop, uh, right around 3.8%, coming off of about 39 We'll see if the if this gets back up into the 4% range. Again, this is putting a lot of pressure on um, rates. Uh, nice little W formation here on the daily. And the other thing to look at too are, uh, let's take a look at Bitcoin here. Bitcoin kind of ranging and hanging out here. Uh, this is a Cobra pattern, if you if you will. We see this a lot with Bitcoin and cryptos. And the interesting thing to look at with Bitcoin is a couple of things. One on the 200 day or 200 week moving average still has not been able to get above, rejected on it uh, perfectly. And then when you look at the Gaussian channel, still uh, was rejecting at the lower band of the Gaussian has come above it at the moment. And uh, we'll see if it can maintain that which is about 23.9. So as long as Bitcoin, I mean, it's right on it right now. Uh, that's kind of the lower level of the Gaussian channel. And the last time it did that was right in this area, very similar kind of look to what we're seeing now, managed to stay above it and continue on. Um, but if it does not, you know, the rejection obviously moves to lower levels when it rejects at the bottom, bottom of this Gaussian channel. So we'll see if it can continue to find support, move its way up to the midline, which is, you know, it's going to be around that $30,000 range if it does that. So <clears throat> we'll just have to continue to watch and see how this plays out. If we look at the markets on these moving average, the markets, uh, the 200-day moving average is the most critical for the markets. Right now, finding support in the Dow on the 100. Next stop will be the 200-day, which is more around those December lows. NASDAQ, same thing. Not quite to the 200-day moving average yet, but working its way there. Same thing with S&P. Uh, so those are the next support levels to look at. Currently finding support on the 50-day on the S&P. NASDAQ still above all of the moving averages. S&P testing the 50-day. Dow losing the 50, testing the 100. So uh, interesting times ahead uh, with the Fed's decision. In, you know, Inflation report, other economic data coming out um, ahead of that. Fed decision. So 50 basis points 
uh, if the Fed moves the interest rate up 50 basis points, markets will decelerate and probably sell off off of that. If it's only 25, might get a little bit of a bounce, but still it's the same old story. This is still risk off. This is still the Fed in a tightening mode, uh, higher for longer. So it's not bull market yet. Even Bitcoin could rally. It can, you know, it can do a lot of different things. Markets can rally, do a lot of different things, but it's not reversal and continuation of the trend yet until the Fed can stop and until inflation is down at least to about four, three or four percent. I don't think, I don't know if we'll hit two percent again. The economy would have to slow down significantly to ever get back to two percent inflation. But we got to at least see three or four percent inflation and valuations have to come back into check relative to interest rates um, you know, in the markets right now because markets are still overvalued. And the question is, you know, what what's the upside from here before further downside uh, for a longer term trend continuation? And again, there's a lot of capital out there, a lot of investors that uh, are looking for a place to allocate capital. The managers have to allocate in order to make money. So that's kind of keeping markets afloat right now while things are relatively you know, calm and stable and there's no big events. But as soon as uh, the markets, you know, have some sort of a recession flag raise or credit markets tighten or something like that, then, you know, that could trigger uh, a broader sell-off in the markets. But that's what I'm looking at this channel. If you're new, is all about entre entrepreneurship, real estate investing, real estate development, buying companies, building companies, leadership, mindset, uh, growing and scaling businesses, investing in businesses and growing and scaling businesses so you can generate profits to invest in other assets. It's one thing to make a lot of money. It's another thing to keep it and grow it. So that's why I talk about all the different things I do, because you want to build businesses that generate cash flow so you can invest in other assets to grow and sustain your wealth for generations to come. That's what this channel is all about. I'll see you in the next video.